Hey love, my name is Lucy May, but you can call me Lou if that's what you want to do, and welcome to my channel. Okay, so by the title, you know that we're doing earth tones. So when I say earth tones, I mean like olive greens and browns and mustard yellows, those type of colors. So the first color I'm going to use is, no, not even the first color, the palette. The palette that I'm going to use is this Morphe Dare to Create palette, the 39A palette. I don't even think they sell this anymore, y'all, but I like it, so I'm using it. And I'm going to use this shade right here, the shade Pine, and I'm going to go in my crease with that. And for now, I'm just using a blending brush so that it can just map out where I want it. And then when we really mark out the like shape, which will be in a second, then we'll deepen it up. Okay, so you can tell it's just like a little bit in there. So now I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous because like you know how you do something off camera it's like all right cool but then you get on camera and then you fuck it up so i'm gonna use this um this is a nail brush as you can see the tip is like really fine i got mine from the beauty supply store but i'm pretty sure you can get these off amazon or instead of using a nail brush you could also use a paint brush because i've done that too i'm going to take I peel these base just a little bit and I'm going to outline the shape. You don't want to rush when you do this. Take your time. I'm going to scoot my mirror all the way up so that I can freaking concentrate. And see. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I went right under where we where we put that shadow. This is totally up to you. You can do it as thick or as thin as you want it. I don't want mine to be too thick. I don't want it to be too thin either. Boom. Can you see that? So I'm going to go off camera and do the other one and then... I'm gonna come right back. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but I got my shape. It can look like trash right now because we're gonna fix it. So now that we got the shape with the primer, I'm gonna go back in and really intensify the color that we have in the crease. So at first I was using a blending brush and now I'm gonna use a more smaller detail brush. So. I'll probably use this one. This is the Morphe M507. Mine just has the orange on it because it was from the Widow's Pride collection. Okay, so now that I've added it in the crease with that shape, I'm gonna go back into my P. Louise base because as you can see, I kind of like covered the line. So I'm just gonna put the line back. Now that we have that shape back, I'm going to take a shade right here called Sculpt and I'm going to go on the outside of that green shade that we just put. In. So it's gonna warm it up a little bit, but it's also gonna like tie it. Like you'll see, you can see. My camera just cut off mid when I was doing this, okay? Back to our regularly scheduled programming. And now that that brown has been laid down, I'm going to take a wet wipe and I'm going to clean out the outside of this. And make sure that you're only getting the inside. 
and that you don't take too much of it off. Now, this is also the part where if you did the concealer too thick, you can make it thin and really like sharpen it up. I'm cleaning this off because we had like some shadow down there. You don't want the shadow we're going to put on top of this mixed with the shadow that got down there. I hope that makes sense. Now that I cleaned that up, as you can see, we're gonna take the P. Louise base and fill it in because we need an eye base to be there or else the colors are not gonna match and the color is not gonna stay. So, I'm just gonna take a concealer brush and fill this in. All right. Now that that's done, we're going to fill it in. So I'm gonna ombre this, so I'm gonna use like a mustard yellow and maybe like some darker brown. I'm gonna do the lightest color in the inner corner and then I'm gonna go out. For the outer part, I'm gonna use this shade right here. This is um, cat eye. I'm gonna use this at the end of the eye. Okay, change of plan. So, I did that brown. I said I was gonna do yellow in the inner corner, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do yellow as my next color, and then I'm going to do a shimmer in the inner corner. Okay, so for the yellow, I'm gonna go into this Limoncello palette by ColourPop, and I'm going to use the shade Amalfi. I think that's how you say it. It's kind of like this mustard yellow. I'm gonna put that after this brown. And then for the inner corner, we're going to do a gold shade. Let me think about it and I'll tell you when I come back. Okay, now that the yellow is applied and I thought about what we're gonna put in the inner corner, using that same um, limoncello palette from ColourPop, I'm gonna take this shade at the corner. This is touring. I'm gonna take that shade and then we're gonna put that in the inner corner. Okay, so I put this in the inner corner. I did a little more outline here so that you can really see it. And these are the outlines. They look like a butterfly almost. Cause like, and this is kind of like the wings. That's cute. Okay, so now, I'm gonna move on to lashes. I really wanna do something dramatic, but I don't know. Um, I kinda wanna do these, or my trustees and do these, but you know what though? I'm not gonna be able to do those cause those is not giving me enough drama. And it's like, this is kinda a lot. So I'm gonna try these. These are the, um, who makes these? Wondercat? Eben, sorry. Eben, New York make these. These are the Wonder Cat XL Catitude 3D Lash. And this is the style Lily. This is the box, don't judge me. I'm gonna apply these and yeah. For lash glue, still using a duo glue with the green writing. And I'm just using regular mascara. I love Extreme Volume Mascara. This is the Waterproof One by Essence. I'm, sw oh, my is about to die. I'm switching up the lashes because those ones that I just showed y'all, it's a no because they just too dramatic. So I'm gonna do these I Envy Luxury Mink 3D Lashes. So this is what the box looks like, but they're in number 10. So, I'm gonna apply these off camera, change my battery, and then I'm gonna be back. Okay, these is the lashes. Now, don't get me wrong, these is cute, but I feel like these is a bit much. Do it look, how do this look? Leave me a comment if the lashes look okay. Now, already, you know, the eyebrows are already done. So now, we're gonna move on 
to the face. I know y'all like, damn, that took a long time. It did, but it needed to look nice, okay? So, I'm gonna zoom y'all out and we gonna go to the face. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna kinda like speed through this clock because, not speed, but you know what I mean? Like, I've been doing this for a while. So, for primer, use this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I bought this and I forgot that I had Oops. We're gonna be using this and Ooh. This is supposed to be a dupe for the, um, oh, this is thick. This is supposed to be a dupe for the um, the milk makeup. I don't know how I feel about it. It's very sticky. Not sticky, but it's very like, tacky. That's the word. It's very tacky. We gonna pat that in. Next, we're gonna color correct. Where is it? I'm gonna use this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade, this is Almond. I'm gonna color correct with this under my eyes. And I'm gonna only go in the corners with this. And then I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna blend it out. That's done. On to foundation, for foundation this is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I am in the shade W7. So I am going to just dot this on my face because this does not have a pump. And I'm also going to blend this out with a brush. Foundation is on. My skin is just so like radiant. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid and Acai. I am in C10 and I'm going to go under my eyes with this, bridge of the nose, tip of the nose. Oh, and my forehead. And Using a brush, <laughs> once again, I'ma blend this out. Now it's time to set the areas that we just concealed. I'm gonna use my Kat Von D um, Lock It setting powder, and this is in translucent. And I'm gonna use this to set under my eyes, and then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying finishing powder for the rest of my face. I've set, so now I'm going to contour just a little bit. So for contour, I'm gonna use my Highlight and Contour Pro Palette by NYX. And I'm going to use this dark shade here to contour. Yeah, just the cheekbones and the nose. Moving right along to bronzer. For bronzer, this is the Juvia's Place Bronze Palette. I'm in tan. And I'm going to use this top shade right here. So we only contour here and the nose. So now I'm going to put some bronzer here, but I'm also going to go around my forehead and on my jawline. That was bronzer number one. I love shimmery bronzer. So we're gonna add a second bronzer. This bronzer is just to add a little bit more glow to the face. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. And I have a ticket to Brazil. As you can see, it's kinda of like, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's kinda of shimmery. So that's what we're gonna use. And we're just gonna put it all over where we just applied. Well, no, just here on the cheeks. 
I don't want to put too much of this on my forehead because I don't need my forehead to be glistening. You can see I love a shimmery bra. For blush, uh, I chose a peach blush because we were doing like, you know, earth tones. So that's a book. Um, can I talk? That's the blush we're gonna use. Oh, I didn't even say what it was. This is the, it just says sugar. This is Sugar Cosmetics, I'm gonna assume. This is their Contour de Force Mini Blush in Peach Peak. And that's what it looks like. And I'm just apply this to the cheekbones. Now, I always start from the back and go up. Now, with blush, you can overdo it a little bit because blush is the first thing to go. Strike three, you're so, out. In order for you to have it all day, you need to put a lot on. It's gonna look a little crazy at first, but once it like settles down, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna also put some on my forehead and I'm gonna put some on my nose right here. Okay, and now we are at lips. So for lips, first, I am going to take this um, NYX liquid, NYX liquid, no. This is the NYX matte, NYX suede matte lip liner in the shade Downtown Beauty. I'm gonna outline my lips with this first. Now I'm going to go in with lipstick. This is the Sephora Lip Stories. This is in Somewhere in Spain, number four. Here's the tube. I'm gonna apply some of this. I'm gonna put some um, some gloss on. This is State Cosmetics. This is their lip icing. And this is in this shade Glazed. And I'm going to apply this on top. Now we're gonna spray the face with some Mario Badescu face spray. This is in, I have chamomile and lavender. That felt so good. And it down. Okay, I like the lashes. At first, I guess because my face wasn't in, I was like, mm, this is a little too much. But I feel like this is enough. So, this is a special shout out to Giselle. Hey, love. Thank you so much for showing me love on my videos. I really appreciate it. And, girl, guess what? I kept the package to the hair. So, if y'all want to know what kind of hair this was, let me know. Leave me a comment. I'll respond. Hair Inspo is by Mel B, aka Scary Spice, my favorite Spice Girl. 